Praise God. Hello, my wonderful friends. Megas with you. Today I want to just bring you some hope, some peace, some love, some good feeling vibes. Because my friend, in truth, life is good. I want to share a quick story with you. Just the other day, one of my wonderful friends stopped in. He's probably watching this right now. I love you. <laughs> and he was just kind of telling me, you sure can tell it's the end of the world. And he started just talking negative. And I could tell he was just telling me everything he had seen on the news and repeating it. And he just seemed very downcast and depressed and sad. And I said, my friend, wake up for a minute, look around. And when he looked up and looked around, we're sitting in the grass. The sun is shining on us. There's a beautiful lake there. The birds are singing. None of that stuff you're talking about is here. I don't see any of those horrible negative things happening right here, right now. All I see is beauty. The perfect creator's perfect mind. We're in health. We're protected, provided for. We got fruits and vegetables and herbs and seasonings and smoothies. Life is good. And in truth, what else could it be? The perfect creator's perfect mind made this world. It's got to be perfect. But it's a choice that we step into it. He had chosen to step into the lie and illusion in the media. But if you choose to step into the truth, stop, look around. None of those horrible things he was talking about is here. My friends, life can be free and beautiful. It's just a choice. What energy and words you hold. You've got to hold the original word, the original vibration that comes from the perfect creator's perfect mind. It's all just alignment. It's coming into alignment with unconditional love, meaning you're not going to hold unforgiveness in your heart anymore. You're going to make a choice. I'm going to hold love. I'm going to forgive those people. I'm going to forgive myself. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to love others. I'm going to live in peace. I'm not going to let discord and disease come in. I'm going to be a peacemaker. And my friends, it's a choice every day. You can live in the perfect creator's perfect thought, Asha. And as more and more of us do that, that will become the majority. That's how the government of God is going to come and rule in this earth. Earth is uh, people's hearts are changing back to their true nature. That divine spark inside of them is divine, unconditional love and life and peace and health and joy and kindness and sharing and good. And my friends, as more and more come into that, that will be what you're going to see on the news. Uh, what great thing someone did for their neighbor, what one country did for another country, just love and sharing and kindness and removing all the lie and illusion, removing the evil spirit, the darkness with our light. My friends, I'm always telling you to decree and declare and hold and that prayer is not a request, but it's a belief. And all that is true. But I also want you to know that Good Spirit, Ahura Mazda, is your loving parent. He's your, your daddy, and he loves you. And you can go to him and say, I need help. I don't know what to do. I don't know my next step. But I'm going to come into alignment the best I can, and I'm going to trust you. And then let your heart be at peace, that he will guide and lead you. And even though you might not understand what's going on or why some things are being removed from your life, some things are being added, you just trust God. Trust the process. He can see your whole lifeline and how to get you where you need to be. And my friends, the older I get, the more I see it all works out. For those who love God, everything works out. So just today, choose peace and love and joy. And as I always tell you, watch with your eyes and ears see. You cannot watch negative programming. And my friends, I've shared this story with you before, but I love movies that have dragons and wizards and all that kind of stuff. And I remember when Game of Thrones came out, I didn't know anything about it. And I bought the box set series and I threw it away that day because I said, I'm not going to hold that kind of evil and vibration because if you're putting that into you, you'll start to vibrate that and hold that. You'll start holding fear and anger and violence and perversion. So my friends, throw out 
all that negative stuff. Turn off the news, throw out any bad DVDs you might have, watch what you watch on TV, what music you hear, who you talk to, and my friends, your feelings and emotions are such a gauge to use. For instance, if a doctor talks to you and says, what diseases run in your family? So maybe your granddaddy had a heart attack and your daddy had a heart attack. And now the doctor's telling you, you're probably going to have a heart attack. It's in your genes. Are you wrapped with fear? Are you wrapped with a peace thinking, no, I am one with God, divine health. I will not have a heart attack. I will not follow down that same path of dis-ease. I'm coming into peace and truth, the original word idea of God. And my friends, you will actually remove those genes from your body. You can rewire yourself. Your body is amazing. God made it amazing to adapt and evolve. So when you're holding the good mind, the God mind, you are actually changing your form and the form around you. Some of you might need an energy change. You might be thinking, I can't hold on to those good thoughts. I can't forgive. I, I try, I want to, but I can't. It's time, my friends, for an energy change. And what a perfect time with this lunar eclipse coming and what we've been talking about to have an energy change. My friends, I'm going to ask you, to receive the all good spirit into you, to become one with love, peace, joy. As the message of the Magi teaches, God has been misrepresented in many of the world religions as hating, warring, killing, being angry. My friends, he has none of those attributes. He's the highest principle of good. It's the evil spirit that hate, kills, and wars. So if you're, you have this mixed idea of good, your life will never rise above that. So I'm going to ask you today, through Jesus, to receive the all good spirit. Jesus is the Christ mind, being one with the Father, being one with good spirit, being love, loving your enemy. No more uh, eye for an eye. No more killing your enemies. We, we love everyone. We see the oneness of all. We see good in our brothers and sisters and we bring that out and all of us are starting to glow brighter and stronger in our hearts. We're becoming more light, more love, more peace and I mean, my God, as we come together, the things we can do, the evolution we'll see in this new earth. It will be a beautiful, beautiful place to live, a paradise, Asha, heaven on earth. So my friends, I'm going to ask you, if you haven't already, to accept good spirit, to accept Jesus, take the life of Jesus into you, which is being a son and daughter of the King, of the all good spirit, and in holding those attributes, every day you have choices. What TV program are you going to watch? What thought are you going to let in your mind? Are you going to hold and think these negative thoughts? Are you going to stop and say no and take the truth, the higher thought? My friends, your life will change. You will create Asha, heaven on earth, in your mind, in your family, in your home, and in this world. I love you guys so much. I'm going to ask you to subscribe, hit the like button, leave comments, and I love you, I love you, I love you.